Hello, my name is David Salek, and I work with the Snow Family Service at AWS. Today we'll talk about Deluxe One Vision for same-day global theatrical content delivery, built on this AWS Snowcone, as well as other AWS cloud services. We'll start by reviewing the current theatrical market delivery challenge and how Deluxe historically plays a significant role as the major vendor behind the scenes. Then we will introduce One Vision, the next significant leap from Deluxe based on a fully cloud-edge architecture that significantly advances the art of the theatrical experience. To provide this overview, we'll start with Andy Shankler, Chief Product and Technology Officer at Deluxe. Andy will then hand off the architecture review to Con Wells, AWS Media and Entertainment Tech Lead. After this architectural deep dive, we'll close with final thoughts from Andy. Let's begin. Thanks, David. As David just mentioned, I oversee all of the product and technology at Deluxe, as well as all of the operations for our platform and fulfillment services. Deluxe has been around for 100 plus years, and we're responsible for some of the world leading content creation and distribution of content, everything from theatrical experiences and visual effects, all the way down to DVD, Blu-ray and home entertainment experiences such as streaming platforms and broadcast. Our technology services are end to end, and we're one of the few in the industry that have everything from localization, streaming services, distribution components out to the, to the head ends, and now of course, uh, theatrical distribution for IP based solutions. Some of the resiliency that our customers depend upon us on is our size and scale, as well as our technology offerings. And it is the focus of that, which we're going to be talking about today. As the backbone of the entertainment industry, Deluxe has been providing finishing and distribution services for theatrical experiences since 1915. The early 2000s marked a milestone for the adoption of digital cinema packages for delivery to 95% of the world's theaters, moving the industry from classic film reels into the digital world. Satellite has solved many issues over the last 10 years. However, it's reached the peak of its capability for this use case. It creates barriers to scalability, cost effectiveness, and even accessibility. Satellite transmission requires significant capital expenditure. The speed to innovate has been slow in coming as those costs are amortized over many years. It even presents obstacles to advancing the theatrical experience. Providing compelling alternative content to theaters rapidly in an ever-growing streaming world is key to the future of the business. Studios want to shorten the time between feature lock and global release in theaters, and global day and date is becoming critical to a distribution strategy. Studios and exhibitors struggle to respond to unforeseen events due to content delivery windows and infrastructure limitations. Exhibitors have struggled with procurement and management of the IP network. Exhibitors have also sought easier ways to have access to, receive, and unlock content that is compelling to their audience. Thanks, Andy. So let's take a deeper dive into One Vision uh, and specifically the system architecture. So we'll take a look at three main areas. Uh, the first is that of design patterns. Uh, so what kind of considerations did we have in mind and how did we have to design around that? Uh, we'll then look at the actual architecture of the system, uh, which AWS services map well to these design patterns and how this all fits into a serverless first architecture and deployment. Uh, we'll then look at a walkthrough. Uh, so we'll take a DCP package or a digital cinema package uh, and we'll step you through how that flows through the system all the way from a source archive uh, to final play out at a multiplex in a cinema location. So there are a number of challenges that we have to take into consideration when designing a system of this nature. Uh, and in this section, we'll talk about some of those. One of the key ways to meet these challenges such as strict SLAs uh, and delivery to thousands of edge locations is to start with a notion of designing by using well thought out design patterns. So some of the patterns that we looked at when designing the system uh, are listed here. Uh, for example, fully decoupled infrastructure. So what we mean by that is we need to be able to deliver content to the edge locations, even if there is an interruption in service from the upstream supply chain pipeline. Um, we also need to be able to deliver content with a minimal amount of maintenance and complexity to the system. So in other words, small teams of operations staff need to be able to manage and break fix the system uh, and keep it running to meet those SLAs. Uh, we also need a high level of scale and concurrency. So in other words, as we scale up uh, new edge locations, we need to be able to scale the system with minimal effort. 
Uh, we also need fine grain control over deliveries. So in other words, capacity such as bandwidth and security uh, that is applied to different types of premium content uh, needs a fine level of uh, control and granularity uh, over it. And then finally, obviously, content security is optimal here. Uh, so services that actually interact and schedule the content should not be able to touch or manipulate that content uh, either from where it is stored or to where it flows in flight to edge locations. Uh, and obviously, if we look at all of these together, uh, we need to meet three major objectives, uh, and those are reliability, performance, and security for the distribution system. So the final state architecture of One Vision is that of a serverless first deployment uh, and end-to-end -end system. And there are a number of key components that we utilize to build this. Uh, the first component is that of event-based ingest delivery and reporting. So in other words, we use lambdas for all stages in the pipeline and we drove the pipeline uh, through event-based mechanisms. Um, this enables us to do things like ingest content into S3 uh, and then push it through the pipeline in a fully automated manner. Um, it also allows us to do things like track uh, status uh, and stages in the pipeline and positions of content throughout that pipeline using, for example, CloudWatch events uh, and Lambda subscribers. Uh, we also relied heavily on S3 native content storage uh, as well as S3 backed encryption and then obviously delivery through data sync uh, using S3 as a source. So the key factor that data sync plus S3 allows us to uh, accomplish or achieve here uh, is that the lambdas that control the delivery never interact with the content. Uh, the content interaction and the data movement to the edge is completely controlled through data sync. Uh, so that adds a level of security to the system. That's also a core requirement uh, for this type of a delivery mechanism. Uh, finally, we use Snowcode Edge devices uh, with a custom army so that we could do things like uh, figure out which content had not been deployed correctly to an Edge location, as well as do things like close the loop and provide uh, as run reporting metrics back to visualization systems uh, at the head end distribution system. Uh, we deployed all of these using CloudFormation across multiple environments. And obviously some of the coupling between these uh, stages in the pipeline uh, has additional components. Uh, so for example, SQS for events, retries, dead letter queues, and so forth. So let's run through what it takes to deliver a digital cinema archive package all the way from a source archive to final multiplex playout. Uh, and we'll use the reference architecture here to sort of step through um, all the phases in the pipeline uh, that are important to moving this content from source to destination. So obviously we start with the digital cinema archive uh, and orders for that to get it moved and uh, deployed to a cinema location or driven by manual and automated order placing mechanisms. Uh, so that could either be via API or it could be in, via a operations dashboard. Um, those assets are delivered to a distribution bucket, uh, which is hooked into uh, SQS via uh, manifest port events. Uh, so the sidecar data, which is a manifest that defines which locations to move the content to via data sync uh, is part of that uh, delivery that happens to the content bucket. Um, that's processed through an ingest queue and a Lambda ingest processor. Uh, which in turn drives creating a task for that location that we want to deliver to uh, in AWS Data Sync. Uh, now you'll notice that we're not initiating the task, it's the job of the cinema location snow cones to actually pull that task on demand. And that actually enables us to uh, fully decouple the cinema locations and the devices that run there from the upstream distribution system uh, that is sourcing the content through Data Sync. Uh, so it allows us to do things like turn devices off, move them to a different location, bring them back online, uh, or reconfigure the circuit, and then they will come online, check which tasks need to be delivered to them, 
uh, and initiates data sync to deliver those tasks to them. Uh, and that's all done via delivery service army that also runs uh, on the snow cone. So that's where all of this logic is contained. Uh, part of this uh, functionality for the delivery service army is to also return statistics to CloudWatch uh, in terms of received deliveries uh, of feature and other content, which is then in turn relayed back into an event processor via event subscriptions um, and that processor then does two things. Uh, the one thing it'll do is close out the tasks that have been successfully delivered through data sync by deleting those tasks. And the second function that it performs is to push upstream messages uh, into SQS uh, into an event fulfillment queue. Uh, and that queue is then subscribed to by the upstream dashboards uh, which present things like visualization and operations management uh, of these uh, deliveries. Uh, the final component here is that of what do we do in terms of versioning and upgrading the software, given that we have deployed a static delivery service army uh, onto the device. Uh, and we, in particular, do not want to have to swap out the device in the field. Uh, so what we've done here is we have an S3 bootstrap bucket uh, and the delivery service army uh, has a IAM user with the right permissions to read from that bucket so that it can perform uh, what in many cases you can think of as a traditional mobile or set-top box over the air update. Uh, so in other words, it is periodically checking uh, and checksumming uh, new versions of code uh, to be deployed locally and executed. Uh, and through that same CloudWatch mechanism with event subscriptions, we're also able to track uh, the version upgrades and the versions that all of these devices are running in the field. So that's the end-to-end -end pipeline. The final mechanism, obviously, is to store and forward that content for playout on the multiplex. There is a need for more live content, repertoire content, back catalog, and being able to do global day and date releases. That is what's driving the industry as it starts to transform into this next generation of services. And so it is really with Amazon and Deluxe and EchoStar together that we are able to make this possible. One of the really critical pieces is the new snow cone device that Amazon's brought to market. It's a small footprint, high density, incredibly well secured device that we're able to replace a lot of the infrastructure at the edge. And that ties directly into the cloud infrastructure that's already so robust and it's dependent upon everything that we do within the Deluxe One ecosystem today. So leveraging AWS's S3, DataSync, Snowcone, in conjunction with an incredibly powerful and scalable supply chain and logistics system like Deluxe One, makes this a differentiated offering. And adding to that, EchoStar's terrestrial-based network that allows us to tie into all of the locations globally really sets us apart from everyone else who is looking to do something similar today. Thank you, Andy and Khan for providing a comprehensive overview of the Deluxe One Vision architecture built on AWS Snowcone and other AWS serverless services within AWS Cloud. AWS is proud to partner with Deluxe to support the launch of One Vision and scale it across the globe. Please see the AWS website or AWS console to find out more about these services or to order your own AWS Snowcone in available regions and start building your own cloud-to-edge solution.